What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute full body workout. I'm so proud of you for showing up today. We're gonna get started with 30 seconds of work and 15 seconds rest, three rounds through every exercise in a circuit style. So we're gonna have three rounds, move on to another set of three exercises four times through. All right, so grab your medium weights and your heavy weights and your water and let's get started. All right, let's step it out to the side. Bring your hands right back in. Very proud of you for showing up today. Super pumped to get started with this full body workout. I'm gonna be using my adjustable dumbbells, but for the weights that I'm gonna choose, it'll be between 10 and 30 pounds. All right, bring one knee up for six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs, keep going. Step six, four, two, back to the middle, up, up. There you go. We've got upper body, lower body, core, and cardio in our workout today. Good, stay right here, open and cross. Short work period, so I want you to go hard. I want you to grab weights that are not your heaviest, but just below that, so you can move them with good intensity. All right, heels to glutes. Good work. I've also got my glute bands out here today for our glute band bridge, about halfway through the workout. Okay, hands on your hips, hinge and stand. With all the cardio, I'm gonna show you how to make it low impact as well. So if you're not ready to jump today, or if you're working out upstairs, no worries. All right, hands down. Drop it into a squat, shift left, right. Good job, up and down for four, three, two, and let's grab some light dumbbells. You've got front raise, side raise. All right, we're going in seven. Ready? Three, two, let's go. I'm using my tens here. I want you to make sure you're not swinging in a circle. Good work. Two. Good job. I'm gonna go up to my 15s. Next move, deadlift. Okay. All right, so we're gonna alternate. One leg at a time. Join me, two, one, come on. And if you need that back leg down for balance, throw it right there. Great work. Think about stretch in the back of your leg. Yes, great job, you got 10. Give me one more, two. Amazing, come down to the floor. Last one of this circuit, bicycles, okay? So support your head, exhale. If you need to keep a foot on the ground, that's fine. Ready? You're doing good, let's go, two, one. And I want these to be controlled crunches with a twist. Great work, come on. Almost there, finish strong, three. Two, yes, good job. We're back up to our lateral raises, okay? Those three exercises, two more rounds. Okay, go up if you can, but give me good form, all right? Here we go, two, one. Great work. On your lift, make sure you're breathing. You're not, okay? 
Connect and lift. You got six. Last one. Yes. All right. Round two of your deadlifts. Heavier if you can. All right. You know your strength. And I want you to push that. We go in three. Exhale. Tight core. Let's get it. Good balance, good stretch. And then dig your heel into the floor like you're trying to nail a nail in with your heel. Good work, come on. And rest. All right, lay it down, bicycles. So far so good. All right, here we go. Keep that crunch, support your head. Exhale and we'll close out round two. Let's go. Yes, good job, 14. Come on, come on. Finish strong right here, two. Breathe, last round through, all three, and then we take a little longer rest. Okay, good form. Let's go in four, ready? Two, come on. For these, I like to think of leading up with my elbow and wrist. Okay, so don't shrug, keep it down, lift out. There you go. One more, three. Great job. Take it up, last round of alternating deadlifts. All right, good hinge here. Tight core. Let's go. Nine, come on. Core stays tight, stretch. Dig the heel in. And rest. All right, come on down. Let's close out circuit one with some bicycles. All right, great work. You got a 30 second rest after this. Four. Crunch up, support the head. Let's get it. Come on, enjoy this. You're breathing, you're working your core. You're laying down, okay? <laughs> so just take your time and get good reps. 10. Come on, five. Finish strong. And breathe for 30. You grab water, we're gonna go mountain climbers. Push-ups with a reach and then a glute bridge, okay? So everything will pretty much be down here on your mat. Having fun? All right, I want you to enjoy this time. This is for you. This is for your health, your benefit. Mountain climbers, you can be standing if you need to. You can be on the ground. And we go together in two, one. We haven't done these in a while. We're here, come on, let's go. 30 good seconds. Drop your butt down. Come on, I see you. I know how much we love mountain climbers. <laughs> I'm with you. Stay strong. Seven, give me a sprint. Go, go. Great job, breathe. Push-ups with a reach. You go down at the top, reach. 
Okay, if you need to go on your knees, that's okay. Or on an incline, we go in three, two, come on. I think about these the same way that I think about deadlifts. I'm nailing something into the ground with my hand. Five. Last one. Rest. Grab that heavy dumbbell for glute bridges. All right, if you wanna add a band, you can do it. Here we go, two. And let's rock. Good work. Now stay up there, knees go out, out. Don't drop your hips. Drive out, drive out. Give me a little flutter. And every time your knees go out, you squeeze harder. There you go. Rest, okay? And we're back to the top. So you know what's coming now, right? Our favorite cardio exercise, then our favorite upper body, and then glute bridges. Let's go, two, come on. Something that always helps me go a little harder is thinking of each work period in halves, right? 15 seconds left, turn it up a little more. Go, go. Come on, you got six, five. And breathe, perfect. Breaking it up like that, I think mentally just helps us stay going. Push-ups with a reach, let's go. Five, come on, you're strong. We're stronger together. Let's go. On that reach, keep it tight. Make sure you're not opening way up. Good job, eight, seven. And breathe. All right, bridges. Throw a band on if you can. I'm using my heavy and we're going all bridge pulses. Come on up. Knees go out. Let's go. Now, you're finishing round two right here. If there's any part of you that says this round is easy, I need you to take a heavier weight here. I need you to speed up your climbers. I need you to go lower or give me more push-ups. Okay, in your work period, you gotta maximize your efforts. Work so hard that you crave that 15 second rest. Rest. All right, climbers, here we go. Last round. Doing good, three. Come on, we got this. Two, one. If your knees are hitting your belly right now, I need you to drop your hips, exhale, brace your core, and think about your knees gliding right over the mat. You're gonna feel your core working a lot more. If we lift up here, it's a little less cardio, a little less core. Sprint for six, five, Go, 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 and breathe. Relax your hands for a sec. Last round of push-ups. You're doing good. And I know you feel stronger in a lot of these lifts because you've been working hard. Push-ups, let's get it. Great job. Last 15 seconds here, let's go. Oh. 
Come on, come on. Six. And breathe. Last round of bridges. Stay up in the bridge, drive the knees out, and squeeze a little harder each time. Exhale, two. Let's go. Good job. Are you breathing? Make sure the answer is yes. There you are. Come on. 10. Go, go, go. Five. Squeeze harder. Four. And 30 seconds rest. Guys, we're moving on to circuit three. We've got jackknives, dumbbell toe taps, a little cardio, and then bent rows. All right? Jackknives will be down on the ground, but if you want to get your bent row weights out, go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna go with my 20s. All right, let's kick it off with some jackknives first. Ready? Two, come on. Core cardio and upper body in this one. Second half, you got 12. Two, and come on up to standing. Great job. Dumbbell toe taps, just a little cardio target, okay? So we're just here. If you don't wanna tap on the dumbbell, tap the floor. If you're not doing impact, knee drives. Ready? Let's get it. Perfect. Make sure your arms are gliding right by your hip, not up here. All right, 10 seconds sprint, go nine. Faster for three, two, rest. Bent rows. Once you're going left, right, okay? Grab those dumbbells. If you need that support, you can take it down to the floor. Ready? Let's go. Good. Slowing it down a little bit here, right? Do not take your shoulder closer to your ear. Take it closer to your spine, in the middle of your back spine. Come on, four. And rest. Those are your next three, two more rounds, okay? Doing all right? High five? All right. We're over halfway home. We go back to jackknives. Ready, exhale, go. All your intensity, because you're strong, because you got this, you want this, you wanna feel good when you're done. Eight. One more. Breathe. Toe touches, come on up. Or toe taps. You're doing amazing. Come on, let's keep this up. My mission today is to get you to have fun with fitness. So ready? Let's get it. Boom, boom, boom. Whatever you wanna do in terms of keeping your pace up, Let's do it. If you want to go around, okay. Arms are gliding just like you're running, not like an uppercut. Right here. Good. A little quicker for eight. Yes, come on, three, two, one. Breathe. Bent rows. Come on. Breathe. 
We slow it down with a little strength. And six. Two. Let's go. Great work, come on. Exhale, every rep. Nice job, five. Rest, this is it, round three. Jack knives, toe taps, and rows. All different kind of breakups for each circuit. I like this one, you're doing great. Let's go. Good job. Second half, go harder. Four. Up one more, two. Come on up to standing. Toe taps are your choice of cardio. Okay, core strength. Get your heart rate up in cardio. And then upper body strength. Good work, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Nice work. Get those arms moving, 15. Sprint, sprint. Six, five. Faster, two. Breathe. Last round of bent rows. You can always drop down to support yourself like this if you need to. Okay, here we go, round three. Let's get it. Think of your forearm as just holding on, okay? Your hand is like a small hook at the bottom of your forearm. Don't swing, squeeze back. Five seconds, come on. And 30 seconds to rest. And if you want to do a quick little dance intermission, now's the time. Sumo, Romanian deadlifts. You're nice and wide. We're hinging back. Then we go suitcases. So back on the floor, open, crunch. Last one, touchdown jumping jack. Okay, so we go here, together, open, together. Floor, and open, all right? Sumo deadlifts. Romanian deadlifts, two, one, let's go. Wide feet, and if you can tap down right inside of your heels, let's do it. In each of these three rounds, I do want you to try and go heavier. Since the other two exercises are just body weight, you got time to switch it up if you need it in terms of weight, four, Breathe. Good work. Lay it on down. We're gonna crunch up into a ball and then open it up. Okay? If you need a modification, one heel stays down as you crunch one leg. Let's go. Good. Think about driving your spine down towards the floor every time you open, okay? So don't let your belly and your hips reach up. Everything is pushing like you're trying to push through the ground. Four. Rest. Come on up, let's get this cardio down together, okay? If anything, you just bust it out, okay? We're gonna touch the floor together. Open, okay? Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Floor, open, floor, open. Whew. 
There you go. And this one, you're having fun, right? I told you my mission was to get you to show up, sweat, have a good time, and know that you're gonna come back and do it again. Okay, five seconds, come on. Three, amazing. Back to your sumo deadlifts. Let's go heavier if you can. I'm going 30s. Two, let's go. Good. 14. Six. Breathe. Whew. All right, come on. We're going suitcases. As I almost fall over. Four, <laughs> three. Let's get it. Beautiful work. Exhale and keep going. 13. Knees towards your chest, four. Breathe. Good work, come on up. Have fun with your cardio here. Okay, touch down. Come up, jumping jack. Five. Let's get it. Come on, second half, go, go. Quicker transitions. Down, up, open, down. And breathe. Okay, you and me. One more round through all three, and we made it to our cool down. Sumo deadlifts. Let's go, my friend. I'm with you. You got this. Ready, exhale. Let's go. Good work, come on, come on. You got 10. One more. Breathe. Come on down. Suitcases. Open it up and crunch. Great work. You're doing good. Come on, open. Let's go. Try instead of swinging your knees down and then up, try to go out and then knees high. Okay? And then meet them over your hip. Good. Now, see if you can push, push. 12. Don't lose it. Seven. Come on. One more, two. Breathe. Come on up. Cardio at the end. Let's get it. Let's just go floor taps, okay? Forget the jack. We go down, down, down. Two, one. Me and you, come on, here, here. In and out, in and out. Good, now stay a little bit lower. Go, go, 15, you gotta sprint. Seven, come on, in, out, in, out, five. Last one, two. One, breathe. You have made it to your cool down. Amazing job, don't forget. 
subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. <sighs> Great work today. Give it a thumbs up before you head out, but drop to your hands and knees. Always include a warm up and a cool down so you get a complete real workout with a trainer. Exhale, shift your hips back. It's important. It's for your body, for your recovery, for your strength. Let's get the whole picture in here, okay? Great work today. Come on up, drop your hips down. Check everything in the description. I always link as much stuff as I can to help you with your journey. Whether that's a workout program calendar, it's dumbbells, it's jump ropes, glute bands, whatever I can, supplements to help you hit your protein goals. <sighs> Make sure you're following me on Instagram as well. I always post a pre-workout kind of preview of what the workout is for the next day, okay? So if you're interested in kind of like my thoughts right after this, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, drive it back. I just want you to have fun and embrace where you are in your journey right now. You might feel like, oh my gosh, I've been off track for so long. You're good, you're fine. Okay, you might feel like, all right, I'm feeling strong, I'm feeling good. Now I just wanna feel a little leaner, a little tighter. You got this, all right? Heels in, slowly roll it up. Go ahead and put your hands on your hips and push forward gently. The beautiful thing about a fitness journey is that nothing is permanent, okay? The tough part about a fitness journey is that everything takes a little bit of patience, okay? And you got that, you've got time. Time's gonna pass anyway, so you might as well do something that's worth your time. Okay, switch it over. I know you hear that a lot, you know, time's gonna pass anyway, might as well work hard, but truly, this month is gonna go by whether you're working hard and you're feeling good and you're expecting to stay on track or you're just throwing in the towel and saying, there's no way, I can't do it, right? You can. Cross your arms over. First thing I would advise is to drop the expectation of perfection, both in the workout and to your body, okay? Switch arms. Perfection is such an illusion, and it's this caveat that we've made up in our head that says if we're not here, we're not good enough, right? We judge ourselves kind of hard. Fitness, life, nutrition, we compare ourselves, we judge ourselves, but drop your hands down, palms to the floor. What I want you to get out of this workout today and out of training with me anytime is to find a little bit of joy in your journey, right? You got a lot going on. I know you, I know you work hard. I know you're showing up for these workouts because you want something. Right, everyone has different goals and I'm honored to train you in that way, but I know that you want something and I know the patience part is the toughest part. So let me know, what are you working on in the comments below? I wanna hear what your goals are for two reasons. Number one, so you can see the company that you're in. You've got tons of people working just as hard right alongside you. And number two, so you can affirm to yourself that this is in fact your goal. Whether it's stay on track, it's find a little bit of joy, it's stop being so mean to my body, it is feel stronger, it is lose body fat, it's gain muscle. I wanna hear it because I want you to hear it. I want you to think in your head, I want this for myself. That why, lock it in. When this journey gets tougher, embrace your why. Why am I even doing this? Come back to it anytime it gets tough. All right, embrace where you're at in life, embrace the beauty of the fact that we get to work out and we get to eat healthy. Okay, just embrace the journey. Find a little bit of joy, infuse it in your day each day, and remember you're worth that. Okay, you don't just deserve scraps of time, you don't just deserve whatever's left. You gotta prioritize you, and you gotta figure out how to make that consistent. And that's when it stops becoming so tedious. It stops becoming such a hassle, and it becomes who you are. It's your lifestyle. And that's what I want for you, okay? My mission for you always, happy, healthy, strong, and we're on our way there every single day. So thank you for showing up today. Give this workout a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and check out everything in the description below so we can stay on track. Keep embracing your journey, guys.